right, well, La Campanella, beginning of Animato, let's see what happens today. This is part what, four, no, I think yeah, four. You can see I've already uh, covered up everything but my goal point, so I'm working on that. Holding these down, getting ready to play that last octave. Right, actually closing my eyes to check how well I'm keep getting that distance. All right, fine. Now we do this. Okay, so far, I think that was my first problem in the past. Not sure why it's jumping like this. I have some kind of snap installed. All right, here we go. So, holding this down. It's okay. Okay, then I guess the problem occurred when I actually had to play this G sharp octave. So far, so good. I mean, as I was saying, with these micro uh, practice sessions, uh, what happens is you sleep and things just kind of work themselves out. That you know, you put in the work, and then the, the work shows up, uh, even though you couldn't do it the day before. Uh, okay, so what? I guess now holding these guys. Together. Surely now I'll have problems. Surprisingly, I'm still getting the notes. Well, maybe a little dirty there. Yeah, so I'm starting to miss that top D sharp. But I feel a lot more confident. It's not like how it was the previous couple of practice sessions where I was really struggling to make sure my left hand landed on this octave. Now I'm like, yeah, I know where it is, just concentrate a little more. So, I mean, you can see it's, it sounds cleaner uh, than if you compare, let's say, to part one. Uh, so what's next? Next I just play it, right? So... It's still there. Some, some imprecisions in the right hand, but it sounds clean enough to where if I play like that in performance, I will be happy. And I didn't hit that thumb on the final octave. Skip, um, messed up the uh, left hand octave. But it's basically there, so I'm quite happy with whatever my brain uh, was doing while I was trying to sleep. Uh, let's see. Now holding this, going here, and then, and then doing this. I can still play it, amazingly enough. You know, a little bit of a slip there, but basically so far so good. I kind of quite like to get to new material here and really figure out where I'm going to start to fail. Even that I'm able to do. I don't know why. I wasn't actually able to sleep too well last night, so... It's still clean. Hmm. That's a little bit worrying because I always expect these things to be gradual and when you suddenly play everything so cleanly, it's almost like you feel, oh, that's a fluke. Tomorrow you're gonna find out for real. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Okay, 
finally with this new material I'm feeling a little bit of that anxiety come back or that little bit of lacking of confidence and the feeling of the distances okay. so but even that is stronger very strange well actually not too strange because I guess that's what I'm kind of trying to show how this practice works that all of a sudden things just fall into place okay so maybe now it's still good damn it well again it's not as good as it could be if I really upped my game and you know played at a more professional level but com as again compared to part one of this uh, series it it's coming along so my torso is in the middle I think did I discuss where my torso should be pointing at last time yeah I think right here in the middle F and G I said but I don't think I wrote it down so let, let me actually go to, go to my what text input so let's say it's F G five the middle F and G okay so all right let's keep going while the going is going it's still clean I know I could be a little more articulated in the right hand but I, I kind of want to get to the point where I'm truly failing like it's just all over the place I don't know maybe one of the things that how I'm failing is I think I'm playing you know when I play this A sharp octave I actually play the D sharp as well so I kind of have this double D sharp there um, which is not what's written but who is going to care it doesn't sound like a wrong note finally I played something wrong Okay, so starting to mess up the left hand a bit and I'm kind of deliberately trying to focus a bit less to simulate what might happen in performance where I'm kind of just caught up in in the maelstrom of everything going on so you know instead of thinking okay here I am think about it take your time now I'm like just go for it and yet I'm still able to play it I don't know okay I think it was a little dirty there's that bottom octave okay finally I messed up that octave so I think now my snippet is at least getting long enough to where I'm starting to lose my composure and confidence and form as I get through all these notes so that's good I, I need I needed to find that limit at some point Even, even that is still close to being clean but at least yeah I'm hearing those issues so probably the right thing to do now would be to to do this so now I'll go ahead and just stop here it's only one note in the, in the right hand one position but still Okay. Okay. Starting to lose form. And I don't know, maybe this F and G idea is just not really. So I find myself when I'm up here, then I want to be here. But when I'm down here, I kinda wanna be here. So maybe I'll I'll be slightly rocking back and forth my midline between these two few notes here hmm. yeah okay so I, I'm not even focusing right now okay 
so far so good. Okay, but I missed that F sharp. Okay, but I think I'll leave it for right now since I'm trying to make these practice videos about 10 minutes long and we'll just see what happens. I won't be able to record for the next couple of days because of some renovations in this room but uh, when I come back to it we'll see how it goes. All right.